Okay, so what we have here is a sequence, right? Okay, I hope you can see this. Uh, so we have 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, and 20, as you have figured out. And um, this basically means that each term, you plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, correct? Right? Okay, so I'm going to write down the term number. Term number being, this is term number 1, or in your question, it's figure number 1, figure number 2, figure number 3, right? So for example, figure number 5. Figure number 5 has how many? It has... 17. So figure number 3, for example, will have 11. Figure number 1 has 5. Okay. So they ask you for the n term. n term basically means the term number. So n could be, for example, if I change n to 3. So for example, if n equals to 3. Right? So what is the answer? The answer would be, if you look here, your answer would be, your answer would be 11. I can't remember what they called you, what they called it here. But basically it's 11, right? So now the question is, how do I find the n term? Basically, if I put an equation, uh, I just put a number in and I can get the answer. So here's what we do. Term number 1, okay, let's call it T1, or figure 1, in your case, let's change to F1. F1, figure number 1, okay, is just 5. So basically, just write your number. And figure number 2, what is it? As you can see, it's 5 plus 3. So you just write 5 plus 3. Figure number 3 is just... 5 plus 3, which is just now 8, right? Then plus another 3. So you have another 5 plus 3 plus 3. And let's just go for one more. Figure number 4 is equal to 5 plus 3 plus 3, which was 11, right? 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus another 3. Okay, let's just stop here. So as you can see, we actually have a pattern, right? With a pattern. But the pattern is what? For let's say figure number 2, there is only one 3. Figure number 3, there are 2 trees. Figure number 4, there are 3 trees. So what does that mean? And so figure number 1, there are 0 trees. That means the number of trees in each figure is always 1 less than the figure number. Let me just repeat that one more time. The number of trees in the figure is 1 less than the figure number. So in this case, it's 2 minus 1 equals to 1. And that 1, that means it only has 1 tree. Figure number 3, 3 minus 1 equals to 2, that means there are 2 trees. So that's the pattern as you can see. So the question is how do we put this into a <coughs> into a formula or an n term? So we have to add something. Plus, how many, how many trees do we have here? It's a zero number of trees. So what's the formula? 5 plus 0 times 3. And here is 5 plus 1 times 3. Here is 5 plus 2 times 3. 5 plus 3 times 3. So this is in terms of numbers, but how do we put it in terms of n? In terms of n, <clears throat> that means, for example, what is n, by the way? I repeat, n just now was the term number. So, example, figure 3. 3 would be equals to n. So that means, in this case, it would be, uh, what is the relationship of 2 to the term number? So that means 2 is equals to 3 and what? <clears throat> is it 2 equals to 3? Plus 1 or minus 1? It's minus 1, right? 3 minus 1. So if, in this case, in figure 3, for example, in figure 3, uh, by the way, this is my working to show you. Uh, I don't have to write this down. In figure 3, if n is equal to 3, right, that means what? That means 2 will equal to n minus 1. <laughs> Get it? Because it's 3 minus 1, which is n minus 1, right? So what do we change this formula over here into now? We change it to... 5 plus n minus 1, maybe we have times 3, right? So times 3. Okay, it'd be more accurate to say 5 plus bracket n minus 1 times 3. Uh, let me just erase this. Like that. Okay, so that's your n term. Um, but we have it, we have to simplify it first. So you continue, you expand your algebra. 5 plus 3n minus 3, and you will get. Uh, 5 minus 3 will give you 2, right? So 2 plus 3n, or make it nicer, 3n plus 2. And this, if you don't trust me, I mean if you trust me, uh, the answer will be the same for everyone. In this case, it will be 3 here as compared to 4 is what? It's n minus 1, right? So again, it's 5 plus n minus 1 times 3. Same thing like thing over here. So the answer is 3n plus 2. That is your n term. So how do we test out if this is correct? So let me give me, a, give me a, any number. Okay, for example, you give me 4. So you say term number 4. In term number 4, what would the answer be? We change the 4 to n. So 3 
instead of writing 3n, we write 3, 4 plus 2. Because we change the n into 4, right? So that means it's equals to 3 times 4, 12. 12 plus 2 is equals to 14. So that's the answer for term number 4. And let's check. Term number 4 is 5, 8, 11, 14. So we are right. So that's our n term. And your question asks you, what about figure number 500, if I remember correctly? So figure number 500, just use the same formula. <coughs> so 3n plus 2. So in this case, what's your n? When n is equal to 500, so you write down 3 bracket 500 plus 2, which is equal to 1,500 plus 2, which is 1,502. And that's the answer. Alright, hope you got it. Good luck for your exams. Goodbye.